Good morning, everyone. Today is September the 29th, 2022. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you the new MKSD Ultra version 5.2. And today's video, I'm going to show you SE2020 uh, Log2 Cricket. And I'm going to use uh, Osim Log2 T Mobile. Uh, iPhone has been updated to the latest iOS. In this case, it is on iOS 16.2. It is an iPhone SE 2020, iOS 16.2. And it is SimLog 2 Cricket Wireless. SimLog. And you might ask, why did I have a scissors? I'm going to show you, but first I need to show you Cricut. And see if not supported. Okay, SIM not supported. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna show you the new MKSZ Ultra uh, version 5.2 that it was released this week. Uh, this is for the 5G mode, uh, iPhone 14, uh, iOS 16. And you might ask iPhone 14, yes, iPhone 14 uh, in the US, Unfortunately, uh, there was no SIM option uh, or SIM card option, SIM tray, uh, only ESIM, electronic SIM card. Uh, but for the for overseas, uh, it is SIM tray option, uh, Canada, Mexico, I mean, you name it. And this is the version 5.1, it's still working, no problems. Uh, I don't have no issues with it. If you have problems with it, just just reach out to me or to us, to my team. Uh, please provide your order number uh, and we were more than helpful to help you. Uh, just keep in mind this weekend is gonna be a New Year's, Eve, uh, New Year's oh, holiday weekend. So we might be a little bit busy and uh, take some time off for to spend with the family and friends. Just be aware of that. So, but uh, both of them are working, but the new uh, updated one, uh, it's or fix the the activation screen uh some users have some issues with the activation screen especially if you go out out of the network or your signal is not too strong especially for from your network or your carrier uh t-mobile at&t uh Verizon or whatever carrier are you using or, or the network that you're using if it, if you go out of the network coverage and the signal get weak uh that's when the you start getting those uh reactivation screens so reactivate uh, and you just need to you know click reactivate and your system or your uh service will you know get back to normal but some users are you know getting frustrated because of the little screen uh the new upgrade should be fixed that so the pair of scissors that I got, it's to cut, especially if you have uh, anything, if you have a SIM card facing down, uh, this is a perfect fit. You can cut, this is the MKSD Ultra, this is how it looks like, one piece. There is a dotted line. You can cut the dot on the dotted line and cut it and perfect cut. Right below the dotted line. So you can cut it and it will work the one piece. 
the one with the microchip on the back that's the one piece that we're going to use the other one you can put it away but the one that really need is the one with the microchip on the back okay same scenario take a look at your sim tray it has the same shape or your mksd okay not rocket science people you just slide it in just like that and i'm gonna grab my t-mobile i'm gonna put it on top just like that and i'm gonna put it in And I'm just gonna wait for the in some cases you might get the activation screen in this case automatically it went through T-Mobile Thanks for calling T-Mobile customer service. Para servicio en español, diga español o marque dos. Okay, so it didn't throw me the ad, um, the menu. Uh, so let me use let me use another SIM card. So let me use the same Cricut. So you can look at the menu. Okay, so I put the Cricut SIM card. So I just need I just need this is how you reset your MKSD because we need to see the menu for you guys. I need to show you the menu. So this is the menu. MKSD Ultra 5.2 5G. And because we are using the same uh the same SIM card for, for the iPhone, it will recognize the the SIM card and now that I reset the MKSD so let me put the T-Mobile one now I should hopefully it throw me the screen So there is no ICC ID, as you can see. I haven't done anything, so there you go. Activation required. I'm just gonna hit dismiss. So there is the screen, and I'm gonna select 5G mode auto. This is the menu. Uh, they add some uh, USA sale, AT&T for Mexico, Movistar, uh, CA for Canada, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, Cricket, uh, TrackPhone, Spectrum, and this menu, it is from your iPhone. So in this case, my iPhone, it is from Cricket, uh, but as you know, Cricket is the same as AT&T, so I'm going to select AT&T. You never select your SIM card, you select your iPhone carrier. And that's what most people are having problems selecting your sim card so as you can see i select at&t because my iphone is from cricket cricket is at&t so i'm just waiting for the signal i didn't select any icc id this is normal I'm just gonna wait for the and T-Mobile. You might start getting this 
messages sorry this device is not available this service is not available it is normal if you start getting these text messages from this number don't worry uh, sorry this service is not available so don't worry about it if you the best thing that you can do or if you start getting messages uh, stating that this service is not available or this number has been blocked uh, you know any kind of a uh, text messages uh, like this the best thing you can do is just block this number if not you're gonna get crazy okay so I blocked this number so as you can see there is no data and the best thing you can do is just go to settings cellular roaming make sure your roaming is on your LTE and BLTE it's on as well okay so let me let me uh, let me do a customer service phone call thanks for calling as part of this call t-mobile may collect t-mobile let me do a sp uh, a speed test Uh, let's go to uh, Apple website. So it's working. It's loading. Now let's do uh, let's do a test test message let's see if a test will go through as a text message no so on uh, AT&T iPhones for some reason it won't allow me to add the apns just on at&t iphones it won't allow me to add the apns for the carrier in this case at&t uh, but just let it uh yeah you just need to download the uh whatsapp or line or telegram or if you have a an iphone and other iphone users what you can do is log in into your app store or go to settings go to iMessage and turn on your iMessage and it says waiting for activation or you can log in using your uh, Apple ID at uh, this time I'm not going to do that so I'm just waiting for the activation. You scroll down and make sure your messages are on as well. And you should be ready to go. Um, allow some time for the network to start recognizing your, your phone number. So you're able to send uh, messages with pictures. If not, uh, AT&T iPhones are the only ones that know they're not allow that option for APNs. I don't know why, but other than that, uh, other carriers, T-Mobile, Spectrum, other carriers that not there are not AT&T iPhones, uh, you can add APNs. Uh, you can look. You can take a look at other videos. Uh, for for example, uh, Spectrum, you can add APNs and you can send and receive text messages with pictures. But AT&T, for some reason, they don't allow you to add, or that option doesn't pop out on your settings. But this is how easy and simple it is to use the new mkz ultra 5.2 it will post it this is well you will get it be able to get it on my website uh, dhs.com 
uh, I will drop the description on my on my comments uh, please like and share if you like it uh, we provide support to our customers please remember to provide your name and order number in order to get full support like I said uh, please keep that in mind that this weekend is a holiday weekend and we might close to spend time with our families other than that happy new years guys and thank you for your support bye bye